Welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Susie Becker, and we're going to talk about people, places, and projects that fire us up. I'm here with Weston Ferguson of McGraw. Hi, Weston. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So let's talk a little bit about data. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very broad term. And back at the beginning, I remember hearing data entry, and that meant actually typing things into computers. But now, data means something completely different. So tell me a little bit about what your role is. Absolutely, so I am COO at McGraw. And we're predominantly a data company. And data in our space just means we are able to kind of, instead of removing the, the issue of shooting in the dark, we're able to come with you at a, a targeted approach for every business and be able to provide data lists or lead lists. Um, and that allows a business in any industry to be able to target their buyer in the right location. Um, and that kind of what it comes down to. It is lead generation and data lists, so you can take a targeted approach to building your revenue. That's very interesting, but also largely a male-dominated industry. So I think it's interesting and unique that from a female perspective, when we approach a client, it's not necessarily from the same sense. It's not a pragmatic, sort of spreadsheet approach, there's a little bit of an emotional intelligence, right? Having those conversations and engaging with the customer to find out even if he's not sure who his core target audience is. So tell me a little bit about how your superpower works. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think that being a female and especially female executive in a male dominated space um, is, is a challenge to overcome but it definitely brings a unique approach and people are tend to be more open and receptive to me being in that space and I'm able to navigate a room in a really, really positive way, bring a lot of female energy and creativity into projects and into client relationships that I feel like some other people don't get the opportunity to do in the same space. Do you feel like maybe it's more question marks than exclamation points, that maybe your curiosity sparks the curiosity of the people that you're working for and with? Absolutely, and I think I bring in a completely different angle to every scenario, and I'm, I'm grateful to work with a team and a CEO that, that lets me bring that creativity into that environment as well, um, but, but having a female in this role is, is something that it's an absolute asset, and I think that they see that too. So it sounds to me when you say they see that too, the mentorship, because you've spoken before now about your CEO and what an impact his position in mentoring you has taken. Watching you thrive in your role, have you been able to report back, hey, great job picking me for this because here's my unique observations and how we can now navigate this landscape in ways you never even considered because you can't think like me. Absolutely, and I think that even when I brought it to the table where I was like, you know, I'm interested in taking some more outward public approaches, being on this show even, mm. just to kind of show that I, you know, I'm confident in my role, I'm confident being here. Um, he was so incredibly supportive of that and was, was so excited to get me into the spotlight just as much as him. And I feel like that is just, you know, encouraging, such an encouraging environment that I love to be in and around. So let me ask you this. Do you find yourself mentoring other young women who are on their way up in the same trajectory as you? Absolutely. And specifically in this environment, in this company as well, because they come in and, you know, data sometimes is a, a big giant and it's hard to understand and navigate. So that it, it, it's a whole a special place in my heart to be able to show them that they can, you know, absolutely be here and take up space and be confident in their role. So Weston, doing this with such confidence and such a sense of self and purpose, you had to have been inspired by someone who inspires you? You know, I wish I could nail it down to one person, but I would say the women in my family. And I know that's a broad statement, but um, I was definitely raised by a lot of women, and every single person is just shown me what a work ethic can do, what confidence can do, um, and that I could really be anything at such a young age that I, I never even considered any other style or route in my life than being in a position that I am today. 
right now taking this change and this space in this place here in Northeast Florida? Do you have anything that you would say to people who are interested in finding out more about data? Yeah, I would say, you know, I think if you're in a space, which I think most industries are, and you want to understand how to acquire customers in a not as a, a broad approach, I would really, really consider looking into qualified data lists and lead lists that can help put the people in front of you. That way you don't have to spend extra time and extra money um, and, and run through a budget that you may not have to potentially find people when you could really start an approach and have it right at your door. So good. So. Put your finger right on the pulse and hone Absolutely. right in. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Weston, for coming in. If you want to find out more about Weston or McGraw, you can catch us on dailynewsnetwork.com. I'm your host, Susie Becker. Stay inspired and inspiring.